Samyang 24mm 1.8 and the DJI Mic 2 with noise cancelling on because there is like a washing machine right over my head and I hope this is not too loud. Frankly, this microphone is so bad that you have to like it again. You can't tell whether it wants to head somewhere in the direction of retro or a little bit more towards the future. Well, the logo somewhat reminds me of Tesla. But here with Heyo Maureen everything is plastic, overpaced, crocked here and there, crocked, crocked, crocked rain. Anyhow, when you operate the switches you will listen to adventurous sounding spring mechanisms inside the microphone. Yes, fancy mechanisms audible inside the microphone which could then be combined with the echo. It's more a reverb effect on the microphone itself. So this mic is definitely suitable for experimental sound artists. The entire housing is extremely percussive, I can tell you. Anyhow, let's go into some more details and then later there will also be a summary at the end. So this is the Heyo Moorine however to pronounce it correctly, microphone, maybe gaming microphone, RGB microphone, however you want to call it. And as you can see, or better here, connected to my Android phone, it's creating this kind of like very slight hissing effect. Can you hear it? I think a microphone should not produce such a sound. About this kind of hissing noise let's not worry too much because there is a solution to it which I will show you in the end, don't worry. There are some interesting effects, maybe it's supposed to be retro somehow, maybe they did it intentionally, I'm not sure. So let's have a look at the sound possibilities. Down here you can see this is the standard mode and by the way I'm talking to the microphone at a distance of around like, let's say, 20-25 centimeters. So when I press this button here long it will enter the so-called noise reduction effect which is basically a gate effect. So as you can see when I'm not talking then everything is going to be cut down and when I start talking again then you can hear this kind of yeah this hissing noise between my words again. So we go back to standard mode. Of course we also have a mute function which means short pressing this button. I guess right now you didn't hear anything. And then in the end of this on the back side there are two buttons. One is to control the volume of either the microphone or the headphones which you connect and the one below is for the legendary EQ effect which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to up the EQ a little bit. So now you can already imagine what the EQ sounds like. And I'm going to up it a little bit more. So this is now kind of like strong EQ effect and I'm going to go to maximum now. So this is maximum EQ effect of the Hey or Maureen, however you want to pronounce it. So let's go back to normal. So we are back to normal and I'm going to show you also the proximity effect. So now probably you're listening to the proximity effect of this microphone. And now we're talking from the side. So now as I promised you, I will show you the solution of how to solve the problem of the hissing noise of this microphone. It's pretty simple actually. I found out that these different RGB colors, which we are going to see afterwards, they produce the sound of the microphone. So once I press this RGB button long, this was deactivating the RGB lights inside. And so now the hissing noise is gone. There is only like a very decent kind of, yeah, how to call it, like maybe a white noise, yeah, this kind of, but this is much, much more decent, better. And then I will change here into the, into the gate mode, the gate mode, one more gate, 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 gate mode. Okay, so uh, this sounds already better. So basically, 
I think you have to decide if you want to have a beautiful microphone with RGB, then there will be this sound. And if you want to have a good or more or less like okay sounding microphone without hissing noise, additional hissing noise, or if you want to avoid post production, then uh, the microphone is going to look more like standard. And while we are at it, I'm also going to show the RGB effects of this microphone. This is the standard RGB effect going through all kind of colors. Once you press this button here, this is going to be like changing smoothly through all the available colors. Then you can press one more. So this is yeah some kind of glowing effect using color variations, not using all the LEDs at the same time. And the rest of, of it is just like fix colors. So this is some kind of, let's call it pink. Here you have some kind of yellow. This is a light blue effect. This is more like a dark blue effect, still very much blue. And this is green and then last press of the button will bring you back to the beginning. And last thing you can do is actually push this button here permanently and then you will be in the off modus where you see that the volume control was activated now for the microphone area. And when I click here, then uh, I would control the headphones with this button. So let's get back to normal RGB. Summary. Let's be honest, a microphone that produces a permanent high frequency hissing noise when being operated in RGB mode definitely takes some getting used to. As already leaked during this video, if you switch off the RGB lightning, the hiss noise disappears, leaving only a discreetly perceptible background noise sounding somehow warm and analog. Well, this one we might somehow start to like and eventually learn to love due to its specific character. And then, sooner or later, you're going to long for that previously deactivated hiss noise to return to. So, sooner than expected, LED lightning is back on. It's a bit like stepping into an old movie when using this microphone, where at one point or another the technology used to make the movie becomes audible and visible itself. And that's what Marshall McLuhan already thought the media is the message. Let's put it the other way around. There will be no message without any media sharing it with the world. In any case, there is no way around this realization with Heyo Maureen. And if you are looking for something along the lines of cyberpunk in your audiovisual productions, you are definitely in good hands here. So it's a fancy gadget, but in no ways reliable or professional. If you feel like it, the romantic memory of a truly analog feeling arises. That's it for today. Thanks for your attention. Please follow and like, click the notification bell and you might even use once or twice the affiliate links provided down below the video. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.